എല്ലാവർക്കും ഞങ്ങളുടെ പുതിയ വീഡിയോയിലേക്ക് സ്വാഗതം വെൽക്കം ടു അവർ യൂട്യൂബ് ചാനൽ ഈ വീഡിയോ കണ്ടിട്ട് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ഇഷ്ടപ്പെടുകയാണെങ്കിൽ തീർച്ചയായും ഞങ്ങളുടെ വീഡിയോ യൂട്യൂബ് ചാനൽ സബ്സ്ക്രൈബ് ചെയ്യാനും ഒപ്പം ഒരു ലൈക്ക് തരാനും നിങ്ങളോട് റിക്വസ്റ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്നു അതുപോലെ മറ്റുള്ളവരിലേക്കും ഷെയർ ചെയ്യാനും ഞങ്ങൾ നിങ്ങളോട് റിക്വസ്റ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്നു ഇന്നത്തെ വീഡിയോയിൽ ഞങ്ങൾ നിങ്ങളെ പഠിപ്പിക്കുന്നത് ആറ്റത്തിൻ്റെ ഘടനയെക്കുറിച്ചാണ് സ്ട്രക്ചർ ഓഫ് ആറ്റം ഒപ്പം അത് കണ്ടുപിടിച്ച സയൻറ്റിസ്റ്റുകളും പരീക്ഷണങ്ങളും നിരീക്ഷണങ്ങളും ആറ്റത്തിൻ്റെ കണ്ടുപിടുത്തങ്ങളും ഒക്കെ കുറിച്ചാണ് കെമിസ്ട്രി എന്ന ഒരു വലിയ ലോകത്തെ ആണ് ഇന്ന് നിങ്ങൾ നിങ്ങളുടെ മുമ്പിൽ ഞങ്ങളെത്തിക്കുന്നത് ഈ വീഡിയോ പൂർണ്ണമായും കാണുകയും കെമിസ്ട്രിയെക്കുറിച്ച് കൂടുതൽ കൂടുതൽ മനസ്സിലാക്കുവാൻ നിങ്ങൾ ട്രൈ ചെയ്യണം ഡിയർ സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് സയൻസ് ഈസ് ദ നോളജ് ദാറ്റ് മെൻ ഹാസ് ഗെയിൻ ത്രൂ ദ പ്രോസസ് ഓഫ് എക്സ്പെരിമെൻറ്റേഷൻ ഒബ്സർവേഷൻ ആൻഡ് അനാലിസിസ് മച്ച് ഓഫ് അവർ മെറ്റീരിയൽ ഗെയിൻസ് ഓവ് ടു ദ ഡെവലപ്മെൻറ്റ് ഹാപ്പനിങ് ഇൻ ദ ഫീൽഡ് ഓഫ് സയൻസ് സ്റ്റഡി ഓഫ് സയൻസ് ഈസ് എ പ്രീ റിക്വസ്റ്റ് ഫോർ ഓൾ ദോസ് ഹു എയിം അറ്റ് ബെറ്റർ ഗ്രോത്ത് ആൻഡ് സക്സസ് ഇൻ ദിസ് സയൻസ് വീഡിയോ ആർ ഇൻസ്ട്രുമെൻറ്റ്സ് ഫോർ ദിസ് സ്റ്റഡി ഓഫ് സയൻസ് ഷുഡ് ബി മെയ്ഡ് എ പ്ലസ് ആൻഡ് എക്സ്പെരിമെൻറ്റ്സ് ബൈ ഗിവിംഗ് എംഫസിസ് ടു ദ ബേസിക് മെത്തേഡ്സ് ഓഫ് സയൻസ് ലൈക്ക് എക്സ്പെരിമെൻറ്റ് എക്സ്പെരിമെൻറ്റേഷൻ ഒബ്സർവേഷൻ അനാലിസിസ് ആൻഡ് എഡ്യൂക്കേറ്റിംഗ് ഇൻ്റർഫ്ലുവൻസസ് വൈ ഫെമിലറൈസിംഗ് അവേ സർവീസ് വിത്ത് ന്യൂ കൺസെപ്റ്റ്സ് ആൻഡ് ഏരിയാസ് ഓഫ് നോളജ് വി ഷുഡ് ഓൾസോ ബി കീൻ ഓൺ അക്യൂറിംഗ് ആൻഡ് ഡെവലപ്പിംഗ് സർട്ടൻ വാല്യൂസ് ആൻഡ് ആറ്റിറ്റ്യൂഡ്സ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഇൻഡീഡ് needed to scale greater heights by ensuring the continuation and development of the knowledge and capabilities gained in lower classes these aims have been kept in mind while preparing the new chemistry video chemistry has placed played a significant role in giving new dimensions to human civilization and also in improving the living standards of individuals it can be said without doubt that there is no branch of science other than chemistry that has influenced mankind to such a great extent the contributions of chemistry to the field of agriculture industry medicine and daily life is incomparable hence it can be said that the study of chemistry is the study of the process of man the educational process incorporated in this video make the classroom learning process effortless and stimulating disaster management techniques relevant to contemporary issues and the possibilities are considered in this in the classes study of science should be made a joyous experience by making the maximum use of the learning activities experiences and discussions provided in the video as well as the facilities available in the classes premises and laboratories let this video help you in cultivating a specific temper along with values while acquiring knowledge wish you the best with gmg academy structure of atom what a variety of materials are there in our surroundings what might be the reason for this diversity in nature how have these many materials have been formed in the surroundings how can we make new materials according to our needs we now know that all substances in our surroundings are made up of extremely small particles called molecules what concept do we have about molecules what is a molecule what are the characteristics of molecule of a substance we have already learned that molecules can be subdivided into minute particles and these all are 
called atoms that means molecules of all substances are made up of extremely small particles called atoms john dalton proposed the atomic theory in 1807 for the study of atoms and for finding out how matter has been formed the idea proposed in the atomic theory have i lasted for nearly one century the world of science could not put forward sufficient observations results or inference for denying this theory scientifically what are the major concept of dalton's atoms theory dalton's atom theory the view put forward by john dalton were based on logical thinking these were not supported by any experimental observations or scientific evidence yet this theory could logically explain the basis ideas regarding the formation of substances and its characteristics hence this theory existed for many years john dalton 1766 to 1844 proponent of atomic theory he had color blindness so this disease came to know not as daltonism major idea for atomic theory matter is made up of minute particles called atoms atoms cannot be divided during chemical reactions atoms can neither be created nor, nor destroyed atoms of the same elements are identical in properties size and mass atoms of different elements differ in their properties and mass atom is the smallest particle that can take part in chemical reactions compounds are formed when atoms of two or more elements combine in a simple ratio what are the characteristics of atoms of an element according to atomic theory what differences can you infer between the atom of different elements particles smaller than atoms even when the atomic theory existed studies on matter and the enquiries on the possibilities of dividing atom had been continuing the observation and results of numerous experiments conducted by scientists have contradicted to the atomic theory some of them are listed below rub a comb on dry hair bring this comb near small bits of paper what do you observe take an inflatable balloon rub it on dry hair for some time now place it on surface of wall and withdraw your hand what do you observe find out more instance from daily life how do you think think thinking like comb and balloon occur to the cap capacity to attract what might be present in this substance that results in an attraction given below are the observations experiments and assumptions of some scientists that lead us to these factors concepts about substance have been formed by continuous and progressive observation and experiments over decades scientist ex experiments findings sir humphrey davy 1778 to 1829 by using electricity sir humphrey davy isolated many elements from compounds potassium sodium calcium magnesium strontium barium and boron are some among them he conducted experiments which involves the passage of electricity through liquids on the basis of these experiments he understood the presence of electric charges in substances he established that there are two types of charges positive charge and negative charge and it is these electric charge 
that enable a substance to react with another substance michael faraday 1791 to 1867 michael faraday is also known as the father of electricity from the experiments conducted along with sir humphry davy he found that electricity can pass through liquids it is found that some liquid substances can be separated into their components by passing electric current through them electrolysis thereafter he proposed the law in connection with this law of electrolysis however they failed to explain the reason behind this process henrich jaisler in a 1814 to 1879 in 1857 henrich jaisler the german physics and glass blower skin skillful in making of glass invented discharge tube vacuum tube the invention of the related that electricity can pass through gases as well the experiments conducted by jaisler and plucker accelerated the studies about the matter of substance nature of substances structure of atoms scientist research and findings julius plucker 1801 to 1868 electric current passes through gases at a very low pressure this is known as electric discharge it was found that if the pressure inside the tube decreases beyond a lower limit during the time of electric discharge a glow of light will be seen on the side of glass tube if a magnet is placed near the glow the position of the glow will be changed this clearly indicates the presence of electric charges in the rays emergence from gases in discharge tube william crookes 1832 to 1919 in 1875 william crookes conducted some experiments using a modified form of jaisler discharge tube which helped in the clarification of nature of gases the changes observed in the cathode ray tube experiment when pressure is decreased inside the tube and the study of the characteristics of cathodic rays leads to the these factors further studies lead to the discovery of facts such as atoms can be divided and atoms are made up of extremely minute subatomic particles smaller than atoms Eugen Goldstein 1815 to 1930 He was a scientist who recognized the presence of positive charges in gases by conducting the discharge tube experiments In 1886 he produced anode rays using discharge tube and found the presence of positively charged by studying the future of anode rays These ex- experiments and results gave too many evidence to oppose Dalton's atomic theory. Wilhelm Röntgen, the ex- 1845 to 1923, the experiments conducted by Wilhelm Röntgen using Crookes discharge to led to the discovery of X-rays on 8 November 1895. he placed an aluminum plate on the path of cathode rays and reflected the rays a special type of rays emerged which were the called x rays later it continued to the known as x ray itself it was an accidental discovery that happened while doing studies on the characteristics of substance x ray is widely used in medical sciences industry construction field etc J J Thomson 1856 to 
J.J. Thompson's experiments helped in changing the ideas about an atom that exists at that time and in framing new concepts. He proved that the rays organizing from the cathode are made up of negatively charged particles. He also made it clear that these particles possess masses and energy. When an electric discharge was passed, all the gases gave the same negative particles irrespective of the nature of the gas. Hence, he sustained that these particles are common to all substances. He proved that they are much smaller particles than the atom and are part of atoms. In 1897, the scientific world approved the discoveries of J.J. Thomson. Thus, it is proved that an atom can be divided. The negatively charged particle in the atom is the electron. Ends Rutherford. 1871 to 1937. The discovery of electron uh, energized the res uh, research search for the particles in the atom. Even through the presence of positive charge in substance has been identified earlier. It is Rutherford who proved it authentically. He conducted experiments by passing positively charged alpha particles through a very thin gold foil. The alpha rays that comes out through the gold foil were allowed to fall on circular photographic film. He made some interference by analyzing the observation. He sustained that the major portion of atom is empty and there is a small part inside the atom where all the positive charges is concentrated. This central region of an atom is called the nucleus. In 1911, the scientific world recognized the presence of positively charged center in an atom. On the basis of his further experiments, in 1920, it was proved that particles that were responsible for the positive charges are protons. Its charge was found to be equal to an opposite to that an electron. It is determined that the mass of proton is equal to the mass of hydrogen atom. Along with that, he also predicted the presence of chargeless particles in the nucleus. James Chadwick 1891-1974 James Chadwick learned and conducted experiments under the guidance of Rutherford. In 1932, he proved scientifically that inside the nucleus of an atom, there are neutral particles having mass equal to the protons. This chargeless particle is the neutron. The total mass of an atom is concentrated in the nucleus because the particles, protons and neutrons that possess masses were in the nucleus. Atoms of all elements are made up of the particles namely electron, proton and neutron. The difference in the number of these particles made an element different from that of others. Futures of electron, proton and neutron. Electron, negative charge, mass is very less seen outside the nucleus. Proton, positive charge, mass equal to that of hydrogen atom seen in the nucleus. Neutron, chargeless, mass equal to that of hydrogen atom seen in the nucleus. Atom is electrically neutral. There are electrically charged particles in the atom, negatively charged electrons and positively charged protons. But the presence of electric charges has not been felt to atom or to molecules made up of atoms.
Rutherford's planetary model of atom. Rutherford, through his experiments, found that atom has a center and a world mass of an atom is con concentrated in nucleus. It is he who suggested a more or less acceptable model of an atom. This model is known as planetary model of atom. It can all be assumed that part of an atom are arranged as in solar system. The atomic model proposed by Rutherford was generally acceptable. But according to the model, electrons should eventually collapse into the nucleus as they lose their energy while revolving within the field of attraction of the nucleus. But this does not happen in atom. Rutherford failed to give an explanation to this doubt of a scientific world, so this model was eventually discharged. Bohr's model of atom. Niels Bohr proposed a new atomic model by giving a better explanation to the Rutherford model. This model is known as Bohr's model. Bohr model is utilized for giving the lucid explanation of to the future of an atom. According to Bohr's model, the revolving paths traced by electrons are called orbits. Main ideas of Bohr's model. Electrons revolve around the nucleus of an atom in fixed path called orbits or shells. Electrons in each shell have a definite energy. Hence, shells are also called energy levels. As long as an electron revolves in the particular orbit, it is an energy remains constant. The energy of the shells increases as the distance from the nucleus increases. The shells around the nucleus can be numbered from near the nucleus as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or respect by the letters K, L, M, N, O. Structure of atoms. Scientist researches findings. What will be the mass of an atom having only one proton and one neutron? Find the mass of an atom having two protons and two neutrons. Is there any relationship between the total number of protons and neutrons in an atom and its mass? The total number of protons and neutrons in an atom is called the mass number. This is represented by letter the letter A. You might have understood that. The position and charge of the fundamental particles in an atom, which is the fundamental particle of an atom that can be displaced when atoms rub against each other or they undergo chemical reactions with the other atoms. Since the atom is electrically neutral, the number of protons and electrons are equal in an atom. The protons in an atom do not undergo any change in any of the circumstances mentioned. Hence, the number of protons in an atom gains utmost significance. Therefore, an atom is identified by the number of protons in it. The total number of protons in an atom is called a, its atomic number. The letter Z is used to represent the atomic number. Atomic number. Number of protons, number of electrons, mass number. Number of protons plus number of neutrons. Number of neutrons. Mass number and mass number automatic number. Symbols are used to present represent elements. The symbol of an element represents one of its atoms. If we include the mass number and automatic number to the symbol of an atom, more details about the atom can be inferred. The mass number on the top left of the top left side of the symbol and automatic atomic number on the bottom left side of the symbol. Other fundamental particles in an atom. 
besides the fundamental particles like protons electrons and neutrons some other particles are discovered in the nucleus of an atom they include mesons neutrino and anti neutrino positrons etc what is the maximum number of electrons that can be accommodated in k cell what is the maximum number of electrons that can be accommodated in l cell the maximum number of electrons that can be accommodated in any cell in is 2 and 2 and cell number the maximum number of electrons that can be accommodated in the outermost shell of an atom is 8 find the electronic configuration of the following atoms and their bohr model the symbol of the aluminum atom is 2713 aa bohr model of the atom is here I thought of you would have understood that the number of protons in an atom determines the element. Analyze the Bohr model, which is the particle that differs in its number in these atoms. What interference can you arrive at when the mass number and atomic number of these elements are examined? As the number of protons in these atoms are same. they are atoms of the same elements atoms of the same element having the same atomic number but different mass number are called isotopes protium deuterium and tritium are isotopes of hydrogen the isotopes of an element show slight differences in their physical properties but their chemical properties are the same most of the elements have isotopes isotopes are of great importance in diverse fields deuterium the isotope of hydrogen is used in atomic reactors and isotope of carbon carbon 14 is used to determine the age of fossils and prehistoric objects and isotope of phosphorus phosphorus 31 is used as traces for identifying the nutrient exchange in plants isobars and isotons isobars are atoms having the same mass number but different atomic number atoms with the same number of neutrons are called isotons isotons and isobars are atoms of different elements iodine 131 and cobalt 60 are used in medical field for diagnosis and treatment for ailments like cancer and tumor uranium 235 is used as fuel in automatic reactors symbols of certain elements Higgs boson the god particle the standard model theory of the origin of universe is an important as the theory of evolution in biology according to the standard model theory the universe is, is formed from 17 fundamental particles which include fermi fermions known as matter components and bosons known as energy carriers however the way in which these particles get mass could not be satisfactorily explained until recently higgs boson is the fundamental particle proposed for explain this phenomenon on july 4 2012 scientists in the same laboratory in geneva declared that the higgs boson a particle similar to the one predicted by the standard model was discovered 
you have familiarized the concepts regarding how the structure of an atom developed and about different models of atom researches and experiments conducted in the later years have helped in formulating and understanding the fundamental particles and the structure of an atom in detail more details regarding the structure of atom can be studied in another videos